Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quilter. We're having a huge amount of fun in 2020 doing all sorts of delicious things. And this time we're doing a very delicious uh, thing. I guess we'll call it a thing. We're making a mini pear sampler. So we've got these very delicious looking pears and inside they've got these little different blocks. So we've got uh, 20 different blocks that we're doing inside the pears. We're using two different greens for our pears. And we've made two blocks so far of the 20, so we're on to block number three this time. We're just making the block at the moment, and then we'll make the rest of the pair at a later stage so that we can just get them all to this point first. So this is block number three. There is a downloadable pattern available to purchase through gourmetquarter.com for 2020 Tasty Treats mini pear sampler. And so it's a block each day for 20 days. We're on day three. The pattern will be downloadable every day for 20 days and there's the video to show you what I'm doing. So what we're doing this time is this nice little star block and we're going to be putting the surround on like we have been. So I've got everything cut out ready. So I've got my yellow and I've got my white background and I've marked already a diagonal line on the back of four of the white squares and paired them up with these little yellow squares. So we're just going to sew on that line and then we're going to trim a quarter of an inch away from the sewing. So I'll go ahead and we'll get this stitched. I haven't done any stitching. I just got them ready. I'll just come along those lines. Now we can chain piece these through so that we don't have to keep stopping and starting. So much fun to make these little blocks. They're not very big, but they are rather nice. So that's the four. We need four done because there's four points on this little star. We'll just trim those apart. And then we need to trim them so that we're just going to leave ourselves a seam allowance. So we're just going to trim a quarter of an inch away from the stitching line. So I'm just going to lay the quarter inch line on my ruler right over the stitching so that I cut quarter of an inch away. So that leaves us a quarter inch seam allowance. We need to press them and I'm going to press them so that the seam goes in towards the colour rather than the white. Just be careful you don't press them out of shape because it's on a diagonal. It would be very easy to press things out of shape. It can happen even when you're not trying. Then we can lay out, it ends up being a little nine patch that because of the triangles we get this little star appearing which is really nice. So I find it's easier if I lay the block out before I start sewing so, I, so that I get it right. So we've got the yellow in the middle and then we've got these triangles that are basically rotating around. Oops, and I'm going to get it around the wrong way and it wants to go that way and that way. So that they now we just need to join up the three little rows of three squares like we do for a nine patch and so I'll go ahead and get started on on this. In fact, maybe I'll do some of this um, joining and come back and show you when I've got a little bit more to show you. So I've put my three little rows of three squares together and so now I can, and I've pressed them so that the seams are going out there, in there and out there so that they'll nestle where they meet. So I'll go ahead and, and get these joined up together now as well. And 
one more to go on here. that a press. Oh, it's looking so cute already. So when the blocks are quite small like this you just have to be a little bit encouraging with some of the pressing to make sure that things are sitting nicely because it's quite a high ratio of seam to patch when they're small like this. So it's just a matter of taking a little bit of extra care perhaps but I think that's coming up really nicely. Now we've got to pop our surrounds on to bring it out to the little lower part of the pair. So I've got my two sides ready to go on the sides here and I've already prepared the top and the bottom with the little corners on them there as well. So I'll go ahead and pop these sides on and I can show it to you when it's just about done. So I've gone ahead and I've put the four sides around the little star. I think it's looking really cute. So that's going to be, it's the same green as this one, but it's, so we're alternating the colours. This is the third one along in the row. So we're doing really well. We've done three blocks already from our 20. Um, so we'll come back and I'll see you again when we do block number four.